All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. So today's tutorial is installing battle.net on your Steam Deck. And I'm gonna install StarCraft and, and test a bit of StarCraft out as well. So what do we need to do to install Battle.net on the system? So what we wanna do first is we actually want to go to the Steam menu, power, and we're gonna to go to switch to desktop. Now I have this connected to my uh, capture card and I have a mouse inserted into the Steam Deck as well. So just in case you're wondering why I'm not recording off screen. So I thought it was clear this way. So what we wanna do is we wanna hit start we want to go to internet and we want to go to good Google Chrome. And what we need to do first, we actually need to download the executable. Now the executable won't run on Linux on its own, but uh, we need to get it first. So let's go to battle.net app. Let's just hit that. And we're going to go desktop app. We're going to go download. So again, it's downloading the exe file for Windows. Let it download. Okay, so we're just going to go show in folder. I'm going to leave that open there. Next, what we want to do is we actually want to load up a session of Steam. What I want to do is there's my Steam shortcut. Now it's not the gaming mode, so it's regular Steam. Double click that. And when you have Steam come up, what you want to do is when you go to games, you want to go to add non Steam game. Okay, now we're going to have to go and find the actual installation file. Yeah, this is a little bit of a weird way around it, but the reason you need to do this is because you need to use the Proton utility to actually run the executable so it's actually able to read it. So Next thing we want to do is we want to go to home, we want to go to deck, we want to go to downloads, and we're going to go to all files, and then we're going to select the battle.net setup.exe. I'm going to add that, okay? And I'm going to add selected program. Next thing was what we want to do is we want to go to view, view games. What we want to search for is non Steam games. So, but you can actually just use the search functionality here as well. So, battle.net, here it is here. Now, right click that and go properties, and we want to go to compatibility, and then force the use of specific play compatibility tool, okay? and then make sure Proton Experimental is selected. So this will actually allow the Steam Deck or Steam OS to actually read the executable. So make sure that's forced to use of specific Steam Play compatible tool is enabled and select Proton Experimental. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna actually launch the installation. So let's hit play. So now, as you can see, I can actually install the game. So if you try and run the executable by default from the Steam OS, it won't load. Uh, but in this case, it will through Steam OS. So hit continue and it's going to start updating battle.net. So eventually when it's done, you're going to see that it's installed to uh, location C program files, launch it. It's going to start installing it now. So then battle.net is going to load up. So what you want to do is you want to put in your battle.net credentials. Just bear in mind, if you want to play StarCraft 2, it's actually free to play. So you can play StarCraft 2. I own StarCraft on uh, all the games and all the, on, on the original game, including the remaster as well. So you want to start logging into Battle.net, okay? Um, I'm going to obviously stop recording here for a minute, enter my credentials, and I will continue the video one second. So guys, once you're logged in, and then you can go ahead and start installing games. So in this case, I'm going to start install StarCraft, so go to StarCraft 1. Bear in mind, as I said, StarCraft 2 is free to play, so you don't have to buy any game, and you can still play the entirety of the StarCraft 2 campaign for free. So this is a little tip there, absolutely brilliant game. Uh, but let's install StarCraft 1, we're going to go with the original. So I'm hitting install. An auto update and create shortcut is fine. Start install. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually launch the game from Steam OS within Steam OS itself. So once we download the game, so now that StarCraft is installed, what we're going to do is we want to actually add a shortcut for the game itself. We're going to have to be removing obviously the installation setup. We don't need that anymore. We actually need to add a shortcut for battle.net. Now you could go one further here and create individual shortcuts per game. So what would happen is when you launch it, it'll automatically, well, as long as your credentials are saved, it'll automatically launch battle.net and then it'll automatically launch the game. So whatever way, you see it being handy. In, in this case, I've got multiple games, so I'm probably just gonna add battle.net in this case. In order to do that, what do we need to do? So you can minimize this for a moment. I'm just gonna close this, so minimize to tray. Okay, I'm gonna stop this, because we finished the installation, okay? We, we can actually remove this. You can right click, manage, and go remove non-Steam game from library. Okay, and then just get rid of that. So next, what we want to do is we want to actually find battle.net. Now, bear in mind, this is not visible by default. You, ne you need to go to your home directory, okay? So home directory, and you want to hit this little kind of a hamburger icon here. Click this, okay? And make sure that you have show hidden files. So by default, it'll look like this. But you want to show hidden files, so it looks like this. Then you want to go into dot .local. You want to go into share. You want to go into Steam. You want to go into Steam Apps. You're going to go into Compat Data. 
So this should be the last, very last entry in, if you install it because it'll arrange itself by date. So it should be put this one here, four or five, four or five. There might ne not necessarily be this number, but it'll definitely be the one at the very, very bottom. Okay. So go in here and you want to go into PFX. You want to go into Drive C then Program Files x86. And now you can start seeing the battle.net folder. Okay. And here it is here. This executable here. So this is the one we want to add. Let's copy the location actually. We're going to go back in here. We're going to go add non-Steam game again. Okay, we're going to go to browse this time. All right, and we're going to actually enter the file path here. And that should direct you straight away and hit open. Okay, now, what you can see here is battle.net.exe up here. Once that's done, hit add selected program. And there it is then again. But what you want to do again is you want to right click, you want to go to properties and you want to go back into compatibility and force the use of specific tool and it needs to be brought on experimental again. So making sure that you're changing back the compatibility and forcing this on and selecting Proton Experimental. Hitting close, okay? Now what you can actually do is you can go back into Steam OS completely. We can close out all of this and let's bring over the return to gaming mode shortcut here. Let's double click that and let's load up a Steam OS from here. Okay, so once Steam OS is back up and running, we can actually kick off the game. So what, if you want to go to Steam, we're going to go to Library, and we're going to go to Non-Steam Games, and now you can see battle.net.exe is here. Click it, hit play. So once battle.net is lo loaded up, what you want to do is just scroll up here or even use touch screen if you want, and just double click here to make sure that it's panned out and in full screen. The first time you launch it, it won't actually, it mightn't actually see all of the screen. So make sure just to double click there. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to go to install games, click StarCraft, and away you go, hit play. Okay, and as you can see, StarCraft is now launched, and let's go to single player. We've got the original StarCraft here, let's type in my name, Ips, okie dokie, let's just go to play custom, now we do bottleneck which is a two-player. We'll do it against computer. we we'll do it against Zerg. And I will be the Turin. And let's go. Okay. Yeah, I'll just test a little game here. Um, what I'll do is I'll try and build up a base really quick and then I'll skip forward because you could, the video could go on for ages if I start building up a base now. So I'll just build up one and move forward and just show a little bit of action. But as you can see, running perfectly. So yeah, build up a little bit of a base here. So let's go on the little attack here at the end of this video. Why not? I, don't, I have no idea. I haven't even revealed the Cloud of War yet. So they could have a fucking massive base for all I know. But at least they've got some defenses up and running. And let's move forward here. I've got a full squad here at least. So we should put up a little bit of a challenge. I'd say they could have a, a fairly hefty base. They were off. Are we down the ramp here? At least I think there's a ramp entrance somewhere. And keep going around here. As you can see, guys, running perfectly on the Steam Deck. No issues whatsoever. And yeah, as I said, if you're playing this. You can actually, with the screen, it's a decent size of the Steam Deck itself. You can actually play this as well um, with the trackpads, and it's quite decent. But don't uh, don't expect um, mouse and keyboard controls. Uh, but but still playable. Um, and I actually tested out some StarCraft 2 as well, which was even more impressive. Let's attack some bad boys here. There we go. Let's get rid of this quick. I'm gonna need a bigger. I'm gonna need a bigger squad. I think. I need these guys patrolling here. Anyway, yeah, that's it, guys, for today's video. Hopefully, this was helpful for folks, and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.